Hey Calvary Kids. So today I was going to read you guys another story, but I just felt like I needed a little bit of encouragement today. I don't know about you, and generally when I need encouragement, I found that a good place to go is God's Word. You know, just usually. And so um, I thought I'd share with you a few um, verses from the Bible that really encourage me when I'm feeling down, and um, I hope that they encourage you also. So well, I'm just going to read to you two passages. And the first one, well, I'll just read them and then I'll get to it. So the first one's from Romans 8, uh, 37 through 39. And it says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, in summary, what that just said is there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. I mean, in case you didn't get it with the first parts, he says nothing else in all of creation. Like, nothing. And that includes... That was my daughter's input. That includes... COVID-19, that's not going to separate us from the love of God either. So when we're separated from maybe our friends or um, what we normally get to do or vacations or school or whatever we're bummed out to be missing on, it's great to be able to remind ourselves that when we're separated from all of those things, the one thing we are not separated from is the love of God. Like us, love of God, right? Not, not separated, very much together. And that when we're struggling, whether that's with loneliness or anxiety or worry um, or sadness, that our God is close to us and cares for us and loves us and, and hears us when we cry out to him. And so as we remember that, that there's a God who loves us, cares for us, and hears us when we call to him, that always encourages me to do this and I'm going to read this to you. This is from Galatians 6 9 through 10. Let us not become weary, let us not become tired in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. So, in other words, because we know that our God loves us cares for us, hears us, that can give us the strength, that can give us the confidence and the boldness to continue to do good even when we're struggling ourse ourselves. So I encourage you all that Calvary Kids, do not give up. I've heard and seen some of you all doing really awesome, cool things in your neighborhood, whether that's writing encouraging cards, whether that's um, painting rocks, whether that's praying for your friends, Whatever it is, Calvary Kids, do not give up doing good because you have a God who loves you and will continue to give you strength even when things are really, really difficult. So what I want you to remember, Calvary Kids, do not give up doing good. Your God loves you, cares for you, and will give you strength. And I say that to remind you of that, but there's also someone who needs reminding of that frequently as well. So when I'm reminding you, know that I'm also reminding me. So Calvary Kids, until next time, stay strong. Remember God loves you and don't give up. See ya.